Hi everyone. Good evening. This is Dr. Manjanath. Welcome to Thursday Live. So I hope you are watching through Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. I would like to welcome each and every one. All of you, could you please check my voice and my picture and just type it in the chat window. A B clear. A for audio and uh, so V for video, so that I can continue. And just type it in the chat window and welcome each and every one uh, for joining today's session. Let us get started today. I'm going to share some special tips and tricks, uh, tricks related to habit. It's a powerful habit how we can develop. So quickly confirm so that um, I can start. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Aravinda. Thank you for quick confirmation. Heavy clear, amazing, amazing. All of you friends, quickly um, just say hi to everyone so that I can call your name so that we can get started. Okay, uh, Jayesh, thank you so much for joining. So Bimal Panda, thank you so much for joining. So Kanan, good evening. Uh, thank you so much for joining today's live. And all of you just say hi or good evening. So just probably I can, um, so just note, note down your name, then we can get started. Yes, 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 all of you. Just wish each other, because always, always, when you start something, any webinar, any seminar, I always ask my students to energize. When you energize, it'll be very powerful. So first we need to tune your mind. Just energize, just say good evening or hi to everyone. Okay, Facebook user, I'm not sure who is this. Change your name. And um, so Aravind, I got it. Good evening. So um, Shankar Lingam, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Abhishek, thank you so much for joining. Kanan Bimal, thank you so much for joining. Amazing, amazing. I really appreciate each and every one for joining today's session. Let me give you um, so quick overview. What exactly I'm going to share in today's live session. I think all of you know, habit, either it's a good habit or bad habits, so we have to develop because if you want to grow much faster, we need to develop good habits. And if you have any bad habits, you need to break that. So today I'll be giving you seven tips, seven tricks, how you can develop effective, powerful habits. That is a topic I'm going to share today. I'll take approximately so 20 to 30 minutes. I'll share some of the tips, strategy. Then if you have any specific question, I'll try to address. That is the agenda. Without further delay, let us share my screen. Let me share my screen. Okay, I always present in terms of mind map. Let me share quickly my mind map and uh, just check now. Okay, uh, I hope you're able to see my mind map. Just say mind in the chat window. If you're able to see my mind map, the topic here is seven tips to master your daily habit. Yes. So that I can continue. <clears throat> Okay, okay, if you're able to see, great, super, super. Thank you so much, uh, Aravind, uh, for sharing quick um, input. Let us move on. So here, um, so first, first of all, I would like to share basic foundation level. What exactly the habit? Let us understand first. What are the process? What are the psychological factor? It impacts the various developing new habits and breaking bad habits. I'm going to talk about few psychology first. Then... I'm going to give you some tips and tricks how you can maintain, develop that habit, even how we can master. So I'm going to share. And finally, as usual, I'm going to share books because that is my favorite topic. So reading and recommending book. I'm going to recommend a couple of books so that you can go and read and uh, develop this habit. Quickly, let me sh start. Look at this. Look at this um, as part of today's session. First, let me start with one beautiful quote. Let me start with a beautiful quote. 
So what exactly is this? Look at this. And it's one of the famous quotes related to habits. Good habits are hard to form, but it is easy to live with. So good habits. Coming to bad habits, bad habits are easy to form, but it's hard to live with by Brian Tracy. Very powerful quote. Yes. Some of the bad habits you can, we can easily develop, like uh, maybe smoking, drinking, drugs, or playing video games. Easily we can develop. But if you uh, continue that process, definitely you will see a lot of, lot of side effect. So coming to good habits, yes, it is hard to develop. Sometimes you want to do regular exercise, eating healthy food and doing meditation. Sometimes it is very difficult initially to adjust. But once you adjust, you will enjoy, literally enjoy and you can grow much faster. That is a powerful quote from Brian Tracy. With that, let us move on to what exactly these uh, uh, habits. Let me quickly provide that um, so definition and some of the examples. Look at this, very simple. Something that you do regularly or an addiction, we usually call habits. Something you do regularly. For example, as soon as you wake up, you brush your teeth. It's a habit. As soon as you get up, you do exercise, habit. Even coming to bad habits, every time you go and drink, smoke. Yes, it's a habit. It's an addiction. Yes, it's a simple uh, definition. Something that you do regularly or an addiction is an habit. How normally, how normally this habit form, carefully observe. Before before that, I would like to um, so ask each and everyone, please pay, um, pick up a notebook and pen. Just make a note. Just make a note. We, we never know even a small point can transform your life. This is one of the powerful strategy. Please make a note. Um, so some of the point, if you really connect it. And here, how to develop habits with a simple process of learning and doing repetition. Doing repetition with certain behavior, some turn activity that will part of your life, we usually call habit. So there are three processes I wanted to understand. How and habit loop. There are two powerful strategy. How this habit form. So the first one, there is a behavior and regular repetition and it become automatic. That called habit. So there is a process here. Once again, habit loop. So for example, if if you want to, maybe I can take example like reading books. If you want to read books. First, you need to understand why you are reading books. What are the real advantage? There, there should be some trigger point. You want to take other example. For example, let us take um, you are facing some stressful situation or anxiety, chronic tension. So some people, they try to solve those problems. Some people try to go with a short term um, so happiness. What is that short term? As soon as they feel stress, they go to um, maybe they start smoking. They start drinking. They start doing probably taking drugs to overcome that stress. That is the trigger point. Because of that stress, you are taking something. This is what I'm calling it as a trigger. After the trigger point, your behavior, your pattern automatically you develop. So what is that pattern? So you keep doing again and again. I'll give you one, one more example. I think all of you know. So initially, when Android has released uh, long back, so one of the main game, you know, right? Initial game. So Android game, I think all of you who could recall that Angry Bird. So I used to play that Angry Bird initially, Angry Bird initially. And um, so the if you take any mobile game, they follow certain psychological factor. Initial few levels, it will be very easy actually. Any game, any very easy. Why? Because you need to enjoy. You need to feel that it is really good. After you started enjoying, your brain always look for those kind of happiness. Then it will be in the loop. It will be in the loop and also your brain release. Um, so there are a couple of hormone, enzyme, happy hormones. Your brain start releasing. And also it will put you into the loop because your brain is getting some kind of happiness. You are playing game. You are winning. Your brain keep doing the same activity again and again and again. When you keep doing same activity again and again for a few days. How many days? Look at this. Maybe 7 days. Maybe 15 days or 21 days. Even 90 days. It will become part of your life. It will be automatic. It will be habit. That is the reason many people keep talking about practice for 21 days, 21 days. Within 21 days, some, some people even, they can develop easily within 7 days. Some people, they need 15 days. Some people, 21 days. Some people, they need even 90 days to develop habit. When you keep doing this reputation, yes, your brain will develop. And brain always look for some happiness reward. Yes, what is the reward here? Because you are feeling that happiness when you play some game. So this is called habit loop. And this will be applicable for all the scenario. Whether you develop um, so practicing reading speed, 
or um, so you are planning to start exercise you are eating healthy food whatever whatever you do so based on this parameter first a trigger change the behavior and keep doing the same activity again and again and when your brain start feeling that there is happiness it will pull you into the loop then later point of time once it is automatic later point of time it is very difficult to break very difficult to break there is a reason some people struggle that let us take some people they're smoking cigarette again and again and after some time if doctor mention that okay if you continue cigarette you will end up with cancer or some health disorder then they try to uh, stop but they cannot do it because it's already in autopilot mode and that is the reason it will take some time to break the pattern here first understand this is the loop actually trigger behavior and reward system now how to develop that and how to break today i'm going to focus mainly on how to develop some powerful habits let us understand let me bring my mind map again okay so here okay we un understood um, so what is habit so we understood what is habit loop and also certain behavior how to develop and how many days you require to develop so based on your individual ability so now let us move on to which area we need to develop what kind of habits you need to develop let me quickly explain few process actually so if you want to develop something good habits these are the five areas of your life the quality of life we consider based on these five areas all of you make you know first one health related habits career related wealth relationship and spirituality these are the main main five quality of your life so based on this main quality so you can develop habits how to develop so what are the habits you can develop let us consider health what kind of habit you can develop so let us take i want to do daily exercise we know if you do daily exercise we can um so improve our physical strength and we can maintain our health yes this is the habit we need to develop eat healthy food sleep well this comes under healthy few example how to develop this let us work on that next one coming to career like let me give you a few example to improve your career path what is the best hab habits you need to develop first one is learning new skill acquire new skill how do you do that reading books or attending some training or attend something like uh, live session yes so that also habits how to read books how to acquire new skill so that you can grow much faster in your career path third point wealth how to um, so earn more money after earning how to maintain that systematically how to save that money that is a habit again maintaining that money it's also a habit how to develop coming to relationship yes it's one of the critical area so how to develop habit of spending quality time with your family yes we need to develop that otherwise people keep talking i'm very busy i cannot spend time with my family i'm very busy with my um, office work my business work i agree but spending time with a uh, family that is also very important so how to develop this habit yes finally spirituality it's the ultimate aim for all of us and um, so when you start developing spiritual concept spiritual ability yes you can grow much 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 faster in all the area so this is what few example now you decide what kind of habits you have to develop based on i'm going to give you seven tips and tricks to develop based on this all the habits comes under only this five area very simple so now let us move on seven tips to develop this habit all of you please make a note please make a note so that um, so you can go and apply because i always talking about learning something new it's good but if you don't apply those knowledge it is totally waste of time even reading books attending training attending live session it's totally waste of time if you don't take action so that is the reason make sure that make sure that make a note and take action after this probably after this live session if you connected few points go immediately take action so that's what my strong suggestion let us share my mind map again okay look at this look at this carefully let us uh, explore what exactly this mind map first one first one to develop any habits my recommendation my recommendation first one here is learn what you, what motivates you don't just go and start all the activity first you need to identify what activities motivates you you need to clearly set goal otherwise what will happen you know right january first week normally everybody join gym everybody join yoga but after a few days they'll stop going to gym stop going to yoga why 
because again say habit loop habit loop they break the habit loop before that my strong recommendation go and identify what is your motivation which activity out of this five area you just identify what is what are your opportunity what really motivates for example if you want to go and do regular exercise first identify is really motivates you when you start doing exercise you definitely can develop your muscle strength you can be healthier and you can be fit and healthy yes first identify set your goal very critical element set your real goal why you are doing this next one working with end in mind you need to clearly visualize for example if you start doing exercise you need to clearly visualize okay after a uh, few months um, how i look like probably i'll become um, fit healthy just you need to clearly visualize working with end in mind very powerful and also try to eliminate all bad habits right now i'm not going to focus on those area eliminating bad habits but if you have any kind of a bad habits you need to follow similar structure and break the habits now let us move on to the point number 2 look at this this is my favorite topic look at this so here i'm talking about make it easier don't make it complicated this is yeah this is the point people normally fail normally fail i'll give you example again i'll bring back the same example of um, so joining gym so as soon as um, so so every year the first week of everywhere people normally set that goal okay i want to join gym i want to continue i want to improve my strength my muscles x yes, they'll go and join and initial few days they start doing rigorous activity probably they spend two hours three hours doing gym doing exercise after one week they slowly start losing that interest instead of that make it easy make it easy what is that easy instead of doing uh, probably 2 3 hours exercise why don't you make it like a small baby steps that's what i'm talking about small baby step but do it consistently three point you can consider first one prioritize what is the real value of doing this just prioritize do you have a real time and uh, do you want to do this first list down then make it simple Ma don't make it complicated simple is nothing but let us take um, as soon as you wake up early in the morning what normally you do you brush your teeth do you consider brushing your teeth as one of the activity it is already in autopilot mode very simple very simple similarly break it into smaller pieces even you can use 80 20 rule so you know right 80 20 rule there is a book called 80 20 um, so rule by richard coach go and read it spend only 20% of your time and get 80% of result there is a book talked about go and read that and here what i am talking is baby steps so what is this baby steps i'll give you a few example just focus this for example if you want to start any exercise if you uh, finding difficulty to um, so fix the time just do five push ups every day start with just five push ups so what will happen you will develop that habit second one go with only 25 steps five minutes breathing read at least five pages every day so when you start doing consistently your mind will develop and also these are like very simple activity you don't consider as a major activity but if you do consistently your mind will create the trigger that's what i'm mentioning consistency is the key and always take baby steps don't go with a very deeper go with a baby steps but do consistently that is the clear aim of making it easier point number 3 point number 3 uh, it's a very powerful uh, strategy friends just make a note set an anchor you know right what is anchor set an anchor for example initially to develop this kind of habits it takes some time initially to develop this kind of habit it takes some time but you can set anchor anchor is nothing but if you are already having some habit good habit good habit go and associate your new habit i'll give you an example you are already doing exercise you are already doing regularly exercise good habit so without miss you keep doing now we need to add additional new task called reading books how do you associate just make yourself there's a connection association say yourself before going to gym before um, start my exercise i'll read five pages what i'm trying to do is i'm setting the anchor that means if you get ready you're about to go to gym immediately you got to know that oh i need to read books sit and read five uh, five, five pages r if you are drinking every day probably maybe so warm water some healthy drink set a anchor before going to uh, drink healthy drink probably i'll do few exercise or i'm going to read a few pages this is usually called anchoring when you set this anchor that will trigger 
for you to do the action so this is the very very powerful to start any activity so very strong recommend uh, strong recommendation from my side set anchor let me move on to the next point point number 4 tip number 4 is a gamification so to develop habit to continue regularly and um, so acquire those kind of knowledge make it gamification it's a very very powerful it works beautifully even i'll tell you um, in my program um so i i keep doing my read for success uh, since 2 years 2 years and uh, all of you i think you might be knowing if you buy any program if you buy any online course you know what is the uh, percentage of completion so if you go and check anything any online course percentage of completion is approximately 30 to 40 um percent that's it people they buy but they spend only 30 for 40% and um, then remaining they don't uh, spend because somehow they start losing losing their interest but in my course we started um, so read for success then my advanced course and people once they join our course and uh, our completion rate is 95% you know why how we did we did the gamification after we did the gamification we observed and people are taking massive action and completion rate has reached up to 95% people they join our 21 days challenge they complete with almost 95% of result so gamification is a one of the powerful strategy adapt how to do it very simple let us take um so you want to read some books so what you can do is you can just gamify so every day i'll read around uh, 20 to 25 pages and every day challenge yourself okay tomorrow i'll read maybe 30 pages and also challenge yourself i want to read faster let me learn speed reading read faster challenge yourself and also as soon as you achieve that challenge reward yourself so small increment do not uh, make it big increment small increment but make sure that challenge yourself when you start challenging when you start gamification process yes your mind will connect your mind start releasing dopamine it's a happy hormone and also put you into the loop actually as soon as you your brain put you into the loop you no need to worry automatically you develop that habit either to, uh, doing exercise reading books or eating healthy food yes you develop that so gamification is the ultimate goal even i realized after we gamified our program and i realized yes this works beautifully when you do that point number 5 um so make yourself accountable this is another important strategy because when you start something um so any new habits and developing some new habits you have to take your own re- responsibility own um, challenge and also if you want you can go and uh, identify probably a commitment partner that's also one of the um so game probably can add this okay commitment partner also a really good uh, strategy you can go and adapt so that um, so the commitment partner will help you to achieve your goal so first take responsibility next one uh, identify some commitment partner maybe your family friends or if you join any program even we normally do it in our community we usually do like a small group make make sure that they committed each other they help each other yes do that so that you can easily achieve your goal in terms of particular habit point number 6 read affirmation read affirmation read affirmation this is one one of the uh, favorite topic i keep recommending all my students first tune your mind when you start tuning your mind remaining will be very easy so as soon as you wake up just do that even i'll suggest few recommendation here all of you probably make a note so when you start doing any habits one of the thing is a com- commitment one of the thing you need to follow is a commitment strong commitment so for that as soon as you wake up i uh, before going to sleep just read this because you will be in all fasted read this just make a note i'm going to read out first one read yourself with emotions with emotion today is going to be the best day ever just read even you can read right now right now if you're sitting in front of computer take your right right hand put it on your heart just read with emotions second one i promise to myself that i take massive action every day just say yourself next next one i'm committed and i'm focused say yourself and the last one is a very powerful i permit myself to take tiny actions towards my goal when you keep reading these kind of powerful affirmations sankalpas your subconscious mind will tune and it will help you to achieve your goal so affirmation is the number 6 tip you have to follow point number 7 point number 7 is a reward i already mentioned 
question that. So when you start, um, so after you develop that habit, try to reward yourself. What kind of rewards? Maybe well, let us take your reading books. After completing one book, and just treat yourself, treat your family, treat your children, treat your uh, friends. As soon as you started treating even a small activity, small success, your mind will connect. Your mind will try to do the similar activity again and again and again. And also go and share your success with your friends, family member who really uh, appreciate your effort, yes, go and share. When you start doing these kind of rewards, your mind will connect. So this is the powerful strategy. Some, sometime what happened, right? We try to neglect this option, actually. Even when you start achieving our goal, and we, we usually say that, okay, it's common. Okay, I'm okay with that. Not like that. Just try to reward yourself so that your mind will connect. Very powerful. Let me quickly summarize. So what are these uh, seven points? The first one, first one, learn what motivates you. Very simple, very powerful, set your goal. Second one, make it easier. Don't make it complicated to develop habit. Make it very, very, very simple. Third one, set anchor. And the fourth one, gamify, gamify your habit. And the fifth one, make yourself accountable. And also you can identify some ac accountability partner, commitment partner. Then sixth one, read affirmation every day before sleep as soon as you wake up. Then finally, reward yourself. When you just follow these few steps for any activity, you know, I'll give you an example. Any activity, you want to uh, start your exercise, yes, follow the same steps. If you want to develop um, so eating healthy food, same process. You want to maintain, um, so probably your sleeping habit, same procedure. If you want to develop good relationship with your family, your friends, your customer, same procedure. But only thing is, you need to do consistently for a few days. How many days? Just try seven days. If you're comfortable, yes, you develop that habit. Or try 15 days. Usually, 21 days, usually everybody develops that habit. Still, if you are finding difficulty, go another 60 days or 90 days. By default, by default, either 21 days or 90 days, you build that habits. Your mind will vibrate in that frequency, automated frequency. Then you no need to worry. Even I'll give you one more example. If you want to wake up early morning, what normally you do? You just keep the alarm, right? Keep alarm early morning and you wake up. Second day, you keep alarm, you wake up. Third day, you keep alarm, you wake up. When you keep doing for a few days, later on, you no need alarm. Before alarm rings, you just wake up because your brain will develop that kind of pattern, usually called neural pathway. So that's how we need to do it. All the activity, whichever area you want, your health, your relationship, your career, your learning, even a book reading, because that is my favorite topic. Just go and practice whatever I uh, showed uh, today, seven tips. Definitely, you will enjoy this process. Even I'm doing whatever I'm sharing, I'm literally doing and just try to do that. With that, I'll share the last topic. Um, so what books, what kind of books you can read? So to develop powerful books, I'm going to recommend so that you can try reading these books. Okay, coming to books, I recommend three books. All of you make a note. The first one is uh, Atomic Habits. Very powerful book, very powerful book. Even some of the points these points, habit loops, I have taken from this book only. And tiny habits, just try. Power of habits, try these three books, very powerful book. And also you can try a couple of apps. There are so many apps available in Android and iPhone. Habit Tracker, just go and download and try so that you will enjoy this process. So this is what I wanted to share today. I hope you got some rhythm. So what exactly this habit, how we can develop, what are the seven tips and what are the quality of life, which area you need to develop that habit. So now your job is to go and take action because I always recommend only knowing is not enough. You need to put into action, go and take action, see the magic, grow much faster. Once you started doing that, definitely you will be unstoppable. I'm keep using that word. You'll be unstoppable. With that, um, so let me close today's session. If you have any specific question, I can take a few questions, type it in the chat window. Based on what we discussed, I can answer a few questions. Then we can close today's session. And once again, thank you. Thank you so much for joining live session. I try to um, so come live every Thursday. And um, so, so that um, I normally keep sharing knowledge related to memory, speed reading, brain strategy, habit, productivity. This is my main topic. OK, thank you so much, uh, Raju. Nice learning. Great. Thank you so much uh, for your quick updates. Any other question, friends, type in the chat window related to what we discussed and so that I can share. Yes. Yes, let me just see any questions. I'll wait for a few minutes.
If not, just say, um, so um, I am committed to take action. Probably you can use the keyword, I'm committed, I'm going to take action. Just type, I'm committed. Because when you committed, you will take action because habit requires some commitment. Just say, I'm committed, I'm committed, so that um, you can just go and apply this knowledge. With that, Chaitanya, thank you so much. And Tinku, thank you so much. I really appreciate for joining. Uh, with that, let us close today's session. I hope you are already um, so clear with all this. Yes, great. Thank you once again for so members who are sh typing, I'm committed. Yes, go and take action, 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 action. You will enjoy this process. All the best. I'll meet you in the next um, so live session. Till that point, take action. Good night. See you next time.